And there it is. So, on the left we have Story Nash, and on the right we have just the default Nash outfit. So that's probably how you're going to be able to tell the difference, although slight. Just a little difference in the vest. And this is for fifth place. The loser, this will get fifth place. Winner will advance on the top four of the tournament. This is Evo 2016. L.I. Joe versus Yukadon. And there's the big jump from Joe at the start again. He just knows. Just showing that aggression right away. Yeah, and that's how Joe likes to play. He is in the default Nash. Yukadon on the left in story mode. Meaty boom. Super advantage yeah. on that. But Yukadon just getting right, getting out of the corner right away with that V trigger. You see that super late tech from Joe. The message for Yukadon to think about there was the attack. Oh, didn't get out of the moonsault early. Tried to get out of there. But now in the corner, but that crush counter sweep against Joe. Now back in. Great defense punish on that side. Oh, gets out of there, but oh, yeah, the disjointed hurt box from Ford Fierce. Just gets Yukadon out of there. We have seen a lot of whiffs on that forward. Oh, wow. Lucky that that, that last hit just barely clipped. He's able to keep himself safe. Confirm into the critical arc. There it is. Great first round from Yukadon. Although Joe has been picking up a lot of the offense, I think Yukadon just stayed calm, weathered the storm that was Joe's early attacks, and he just closed it out. Great work to him. Round two. Let's see if Joe can make the adjustment. Now has the advantage in meter. Yeah, gets the check after that, the forward light kick, not advantage at that range. Gets All in there right. with the Moonsault, too far to confirm, yeah. but not punished either. He's oh got wow, it. he's just going to go right into yeah. the raw super to punish that Sonic Boom. Give himself, that, give himself that big life lead here. Yeah. Right, does he choose to keep it up the offense? He does. Sometimes he'll stay away with just Boom, but that time. In there. Now it's just going to be the V. He wants to gain that V gauge as quick as possible for V reversal to escape stop as well as trigger. I really like that. Oh, oh he no, gets he in. wasn't expecting that to happen. But you know what? No, not a proper confirm from Yukadon. And now, Joe getting the punish. Wake up button. Will Joe do the same? No, blocks it out. Alright, good throw tech. Keeps himself safe. Not at that range. Oh, Crushed wow. him. And but yeah, couldn't get a combo yeah, at that range. Too far for Sonic Boom to connect. A nice air to air. Joe's in a bad spot. Has to spend the V trigger. No anti airs at all from Yukadon. And that's going to give Li Joe the throw. And he gets in with another throw, and maybe just because of that bit of gray damage, it did enough to kill. But Li Joe ties it up, one round Fight apiece. Round. Fight. See the aggression from Joe right away. Wants to force the issue. And he spent that critical hour early in the last round. Now just has full gauge again. There's going to be the confirm from Yukadon. Just had buffer, stand medium punch, sight, critical art. Now going to have advantage for himself. 50% lead in this round. Of course, Li Joe almost has a full super. Can really get in there just as fast. Yeah, but didn't he's spend the critical right now. Yeah, goes for the throw. He's got him caged in the corner. No ants here, as it was on the other side. He would have had to do an air to air as a jump back. Ooh, got hit out of the air. So very fortunate there. Oh, but got him again. Into the neutral jump and goes for the throw. He saw that Joe was playing very defensive. Jabs him out of the air. Wow. And then gets the throw. Throws him back in the corner. Oh, mix up. Great block from Joe. It was low. Not no anti air. Yeah, no anti air super. Oh, yeah. So Yukadon knows he can't look at the super from across the screen. Just empty oh, jump yeah. button. Stop. Counter hit. Crouching strong. Confirmed in there. Joe just hit a button. Great blocks again from Joe. There's been no overhead attempt. Overhead is there. He doesn't get the punish. It could have been in the sight. In the critical arc, but Joe missed it. Yeah, and that's gonna, that air is gonna cost him. Yukadon gonna take game one, but you can see right there, Joe nodding his head, understanding that he lost that one himself. He didn't feel like, he's probably thinking to himself right now, he doesn't feel like he did anything wrong with that particular match. Yeah, definitely so, wasn't out of it. Boy. If he got that confirm into sight, the right. critical lord, I mean, would have just about tied things up. Jump in again for Joe, you see the pressure. Oh, dash okay. up for a throw, and Yukadon had preemptive neutral jump already. Yeah, that's a couple of times now that Yukadon has done that with the neutral jump, so that's something that L.I. Joe's going to have to be aware of and keep track of. Yeah, neutral jump to predict any kind of forward movement, whether it's sight, whether it's forward dash. It's a good option. I love Yukadon chasing his own Sonic Boom to punish the beast skill, trying to absorb that meter. He's seen Joe trying to absorb that meter, so he's able to punish the beast skill. Yeah, you see, Joe is afraid to absorb these booms now as V-Trigger is on deck for Yukadon. Oh, what a combo, and he keeps it up with the EX. It's not going to be enough, but so close. And the low, yeah. Got the counter hit, Joe hits something on wake up, or tech, one or the other. Probably was expecting to throw on that wake up. Yeah. So great work to him. Joe with the offense already, and Yukadon has been such a wall to deal with. 
he's just intercepted Joe on a lot of these, you know, strategies that he's tried on offense. I feel like it's something that Yukonon is fully aware of right now that Joe is attacking a lot. So he's had the preemptive air to airs, he's had the stand medium pumps, the catch the dashes, the neutral jumps, the catch the dashes. But he puts himself, he gets himself into the corner now off of Joe's throws. So Joe is trying to get after him. But oh, out of the air with the juggle. Great work. Roundhouse and a four like it from Yukonon. Also put a critical art, and that's going to be that Joe. Spending the gauge to get himself around, although Yukadon now is going to have a big advantage in the last one, as he has all that meter to work with. It's even a situation now where Yukadon has access to a bunch of anti air EX sites. Yes. Be able to Final get some damage and then still build meter, keep the meter lead against Eli Joe. It also makes jumping from Joe dangerous, unless, of course, it's going to punish a boom like that. I love Joe going into that low roundhouse, not on a range to be able to get much better combo. Like Yukadon, the air. Oh, the walk under from Joe? Great spacing. Just understanding he baited the throw, and Joe's offense really paying off here. You get on out of there. He can combo again. Yes, he does. The overhead. You could have comboed into it. Oh. oh, I think he baited Joe into spending yeah. it. Yeah. Joe thought he was going to throw a Sonic Boom, but he didn't. Nice anti air, and he's going to get the crouch strong. Double no. crouch strong. No confirm in the super, though. Yeah, he has critical R on deck still. Oh, no anti air from Joe. Could have EX side? Well, confirm, and, and that's going to be critical R. You get on now up. 2-0 over Joe. Really, Joe's got to think about this. It's been tough. The offense that he's applied has been effective at times, but not consistent enough. Right, and don't forget, this is still loser's bracket. You hear the audience right now trying to cheer on Joe. This is the seventh win one. We'll see if he can do it. Into the third match here, you on up 2-0 in the Nash Mirror. He's just been so too solid, really. He's just been so difficult for Joe to deal with. And now the question is, does Joe slow things down or does he just try to press it even more? Alright, once again, you can uh, just ready with those air to airs like against the jump and get the moonsault slash, but that time LA Joe gets it in there and then gets the throw. Yeah, out of the air. He uses that roundhouse off the beach trigger again. He consistently goes to that as it's great for air to airing. It's air, sets him up for the throw, goes him for the jump. Oh, counter hit, yeah. He couldn't get much else, but Joe lands it. One more to close it out. Yeah, throw a Throw would have killed, so great work. Too far again, that torch pierce. He sends himself so far forward and then pulls him all the way back. Yeah, but hurt LA. box immediately disappears on that. L.I. Joe closes it out. Word to him on that round. Round two. medium kick. L.I. Joe up one round in this third game. Oh, what a whip on it from Joe. Man, counter hit confirmed from Yukonon immediately spends critical art. He's going to have a, a chunky lead here. Let's see what he decides to do. Yeah. Of course, L.I. Joe in the same position now also has V trigger, so he's got all sorts of ways to confirm to a super if he wants to. You see that little jab interrupt from Yukonon? Just knew that Joe was going to try to take up space on the front. But no confirm. What? Yeah, he is just stuffing all the approach and dash from L.I. Joe now. Air to air from Joe is good. He's got the back throw to the corner, although trigger available for Yukonon. Spends it immediately. Oh, he gets the back dash. But it's not, not a confirm a kill. Joe didn't get cancel side in a critical art again, but he not out of this yet. Crouching strong. Trying to miss empty it. Low goes into the he goes for the empty low. Gets it. He's gonna take this game and stay alive. He's on the board. It's two to one. Joe stays alive. One empty low and it was counter hit. So, you know, either a throw tech or some kind of button for Yukonon just wasn't in time because of that Joe on the board now. See if Yukonon can adjust. I mean, Joe's offense was still, you know, he was keeping it up there, but a bit safer this time. A lot less risk than I think he's been taking so far. Round one. Imagine right now for a guy like Yukonon, if he could, if Joe could somehow make this comeback, it would probably be a very salty way to lose to two Nash. Yeah, when you're a Nash player. It's a tough way to go out. Man. But he's, but Joe still has a much longer road to go for right now. He still needs to win two games. And it's great to see so far that Yukonon has not cracked in this game, right? Despite losing that, he still seems solid in the neutral. Although Joe has offense now. Wake up button nice. and the confirmed jab and a back medium pick. Using the meter right there, get some good damage and keep Joe in the corner. He's gonna be able to confirm right there. And now Yukadon at match point. Yeah, clean round for himself. Great to have that kind of composure after just taking that loss in the last game. On some clutch stuff by Joe. And see a roundhouse from Joe. And man, the counter hit confirms from Yukadon are so excellently done. Jump over. Just goes into the throw. Was expecting the full combo. Yep, punish on that low roundhouse. And a jump again. Joe has the offense. Is that another throw? Yes, and the tag. 
Oh, and trying to anti-air and missed it. And Joe, now on the verge of stun, and there he gets it with the cow spear. He's going to be able to convert into a combo, take him out, and steal a little bit of that meter. Yeah, it's going to go into the last round with meter advantage here. Joe, got to win this game to stay alive and force him to a final one. Yukon looking to close things out. Close to that critical art, even though Joe's gold meter, EX side. We'll take some of that away. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a Stop reaction. Yeah, yeah. Great reaction. And both of these players right now have been really on point on their air to airs as a defense. Oh, Joe didn't get the confirm. He did a button that was slightly too slow. And great defense from him. Yukon was looking probably to beat that throw. Didn't have the right idea. And Joe, man, the neutral so far. Amazing. Stuffing all the approach now from Yukon, who has to go in for this deficit. Okay, you can try to over. Came up to the other side. Oh, using the V trigger kick. And that's Joe trying to expected him to go behind. He's gonna get caught by this. A lot of damage now. Yukadon with the lead. LI Joe, of course, still sitting on full meter and a trigger. Again, that air-to-air -air defense. Oh man, he could have critical art if he had that on deck. Just raw critical art, but just wasn't ready for it. Gotta be expecting Joe to do it. He has the V-Trigger as well. In a dangerous spot. He gets in there. He's oh, gonna be able to confirm critical art at the end of it in LI Joe. Huge jump. What an excellent read. Is it gonna be enough to close it out? And it is a, a final game here for Joe. What clutch stuff. In the heat of the moment here, Evil. Such a tough stage to stay composed on, and he's doing it. <laughs> LI Joe and Father in the same. same. Pose. <laughs> like father, like son. Apple not too far from the, the tree. Maybe we'll see his dad in top eight with Nash next year. <laughs> the Street Fighter <laughs> skills are also carried over. Now Yukadon trying to wonder himself where things are going wrong. He's got to adjust as well. Thinking about how Joe has been able to make this comeback. But All Joe's right signaling is. to him, ready to go. Last game here, L.I. Joe versus Yukadon. See if he can stay alive. Counter hit confirmed from Yukadon early. Anti-air, yes, great work from Yukadon. But V reversal out from Joe in the jump. Man, his offensive jumps have been so excellent throughout this entire top eight. But just missed that media attack and he's gonna get back thrown into the corner. Anti-air side, yeah, great work from Joe. Yeah, Joe choosing to spend that meter. I mean, we've seen it right now. Both of these players getting a lot of uh, pay out of their meters, saving them for the critical hearts. What a block from Yukon and the delay from Joe. He just gets thrown out of it. Maybe a button on a run. And that should be the round. Great work from Yukon on staying composed in this final one, but we've seen that Joe can bring it back. Down to the last round now for Yukon. He just needs to take one more to advance forward in this loser side bracket. You can see him right now backing up, trying to play a little more defense and immediately turning into an offense, but I'm not sure what he was trying to bait out. And yeah, it just gets up thrown. No hands here from Joe either. On that jump forward from Yukon. He's missed a few in this last game. Over. Oh, got in there. He's going to confirm into the target the kick side. Him. Out of there is Joe. Now he has repositioning for himself to jump over, but not in time for the boom to recover too quickly. Too late that time. Spends the V gauge just to get out of the pressure. No anti air again from Joe. That's how booms he's got. He had advantage there for a second. And, and confirm. Great punish against that V skill. Like you said, he's done that before. Yeah, you get on in so much control now. Joe trying to make some kind of offense happen. Air to air again. He's got close to the critical card, but a confirm. And, and he's got the he critical just built it And Yukadon is going to advance forward here on the loser side bracket. L I Joe, the last US player, has been eliminated from the tournament. But what an effort. What a performance here for one L.I. Joe from Long Island, New York. You can hear the appreciation from the audience for his performance. Once again, one of the most likable players.